You have successfully renewed your TL6 operating license. Please land on the platform outside to be issued with a dispatcher and to start work for Trans Loop Logistics. A firm has been in development for two years and during that time for the most of it, it was strictly non-combative. From the very beginning we decided it was going to be um, a puzzle or a skill-based game, heavily inspired by Lunar Lander or specifically Jupiter Lander. We got this really, actually really cool relationship with Oculus where they um, have helped us out with um, technology and helped us out with optimizing and things like that. They haven't ever kind of like imposed much on us. They have kind of let us make whatever game we want. They've given us suggestions and they're often really good, but they've not um, kind of like said, you have to do this. And um, one such conversation with three months to go until the Rift release, which is also our release date, came up with a good point, which is that, you know, really all there is in this game is picking stuff up and moving somewhere. Is it a bit boring? And now like, you know, we had to think, hard about that because it's the truth it probably was a bit boring and that posed a hell of a problem that we had three months to kind of like add a new gameplay mechanic which would kind of lift it there needed to be a, a drastic different gameplay element and combat seemed to be the logical one So it took us a couple of days to, uh, to prototype it um, and that was to a point where you could at least have weapons tracking your head and shooting other things. The other things weren't being blown up at that point or anything like that but um, you could see that it would work from that very early stage after a couple of days because you could shoot things and it just felt so good. <laughs> You get these moments when it comes to like doing creative stuff. When they come, you just got to jump on them, which is where you just know in like seconds of trying something that you've got it, and it's just it's got it's got to go in. You know, it's undeniable, and it's going to be hard work to kind of make it happen. But just playing firmer with guns, mm -hmm. I remember that first time just putting the trigger on it and just being like. Oh man, you know, it it represented a hell of a lot of work, but it absolutely had to go in. Because this is the thing to remember is that like the game was 90% done. You know, it was we were ready to to release with the Oculus. And now we got to add all of this extra stuff in just three months. We wanted to create a whole map which is one combat mission with waves and waves of enemies um, and you have a huge sprawling base to defend. I felt like we had to do that so we can see how dedicated combat missions could work. I believe the game did need um, combat and it really shows when you play it. Firm is a special game in that if you take a game like a first person shooter or something like that, you have one column of gameplay and that is first person shooting. From that, you hang all your other gameplay components off it. If you take that column away, you now don't have a game that's unplayable. Whereas with firmware, it's designed with columns which stand on their own. So you have the cargo mechanic, the fuel mechanic, you have all these separate things which stand on their own and when we introduced the gunplay element to it, it never felt like an afterthought because it completely supports itself in the same way as the other components support themselves. We could have, we, and we in fact we discussed, having just firmer as a racing game. And so when we attach that final column of gameplay to firmer, 
you know, you're having to fly this sort of strange vehicle around, manage your fuel, attack bad guys, go on races, collect stuff, and it just fits naturally because no one component is the gameplay component which everything else attaches to. Thank <laughs> you.